Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and today I'm headed to Dripping Springs, Texas for a local cars and coffee that is held over there. Uh, it's the last one of the year, uh, but it's also the last one until who knows. Uh, they decided that they won't be able to keep hosting it there. So we decided to go out there and show our support. So I'm gonna go meet up with Ty and then we're gonna go check out the show. So we'll see you guys over there. Alright guys, so I just got here, so some cars are still rolling in, and uh, I just want to talk about why I enjoy this this car show so much. So here in Dripping Springs, in this sort of area of town, uh, you've got shops like Martin Brothers Customs and other various hot rod shops, and there's a lot of old school hot rodders around here, so you tend to see more of the classic muscle cars, or even some uh, rat rods and T-Buckets uh, type of cars, so hopefully some of that stuff shows up today, because usually like at Coda Cars and Coffee, there were some like uh, classic muscle cars. Um, but it's mostly, you know, newer cars or like as you saw some Vipers or some exotic cars. But out here in this part of town, there tends to be a lot more classic muscle cars. And uh, so hopefully some of that shows up. I've already seen a couple out here. And uh, I can show you guys what the Dripping Springs, you know, kind of muscle car community is all about. So let's head out there. gas tank is mounted in the bed is because originally they're mounted behind the back seat and that's not very safe so this is a much easier access and also when you're redoing the bed you can make it custom and raise it so it gives it a little sleeker look and also this paint is super good as you can see there's definitely no orange peel step out of the shower there you go oh, yeah. no orange peel no swirls and this is the truck you have right this is actually a unibody this is a this is the older truck than I have. I have a 71 Sport Custom. This is probably, if I had to guess, like a 65-ish maybe. So a 65 <laughs> unibody, yours is? Uh, I don't think mine has a special name like that. Fleet side. You know. So but not race could, truck, but clean truck. Yeah, because I mean, as you can see, still running stock manifolds, but has the Wilwood upgrade, huge, the mock system. Uh, Shaved it pretty well, actually. Shaved the bay pretty good. Yeah, he did a great job. I mean, he's just running a little, a small car, but very nice. And I like the matte on this contrast color. And then you see the grill and everything, it's matte also. That's what I was talking about when I do mine carbon. I was thinking about doing that matte. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those four letters, matte too. Yeah. And like on the back tailgate, and like. Also, you can see these are upgraded headlights, LED headlights. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Can you see it? Kinda, now you can just see me. That's alright. Yeah, and also, like, 
Uh, the door handle to open and the window, look how they're billet steel and they're black. Oh, yeah, I see it. And this front piece is actually, it's usually a piece of billet or steel, uh, the bezel. This is a custom bezel. So would you say this is more of a resto mod? Um, yeah. It's not exactly pro touring. Yeah, not exactly pro touring, but no, but it's closer to I don't know original restoration, but with your own flair on it. Yeah. I don't know what you can say. Like, I definitely like how clean it is. I love the big steelies. That's cool. Yeah, that's what drew me to it in the first place. guys the support here is incredible today it being the last show i mean we got everything from classic muscle cars to newer sports cars you know imports and exotics so let's check some of those out I just finished talking to this guy. He's actually a naval captain. He was in the Navy for 20 years and he tried buying this car back when it came out in 1970 and he just couldn't get his hands on it. He had bought a ticket to go to, he says it was somewhere like Iowa, he can't remember. And he went to go out and his unit said, hey, it's snowing, you can't go. So he couldn't go and buy the car that he had already picked out. So he tried again a second time and the same thing happened. They're like, oh, it was raining. He couldn't get out there. So he couldn't pick it up. Third time he got sent out on mission to Hawaii and he couldn't pick up the car again. So he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna give up. I'm just gonna wait a couple of years. And he said that was on a Sunday. And then on that next Monday, his daughter called him and she's like, hey, I'm working here at auditing the shop and they have a Chevelle in here and it's for sale. So literally three days later, two days later, he went over there, picked up the car. He's had it ever since. The paint is original and he's never touched it. It was actually repainted in 1988. And that's the last time it was touched. He said he just waxes it, keeps driving it. And he rebuilt the motor back in 08 and he just keeps driving it. And you know, it's stories like that that, you know, he's had the car for a little over 20 years. He got it back in 1999. So, yeah, about 20 years. And he just drives it every day because, you know, it was his dream car. So, super cool. I love hearing stories like that. As you guys can see, it turned out to be a full show. Uh, last one ever, so it's good that all these people came out to show off their uh, hot rods and their race trucks and their race cars. Uh, as for me though, I'm gonna head out. So if you guys like these videos and you want to do, hit that like button, leave a comment below and subscribe. Until next time guys, peace out.